This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Monday, July 26, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the world's most popular swim shop. The Men's 100 Fly and 50 Free were the top two events to watch at last weekend's Caribbean and Central American Championships held in Puerto Rico. NCAA champion Albert Subarats posted a 52-53 in the 100 Fly, which is not too far off his in-season best time of 52-11 from the Paris Open that ranks him 7th in the world. His teammate from Venezuela, Octavio Alessi, finished second with a 52-89, which puts him just outside the top 25 in the world. George Bovell won the 50 freestyle with a 22-23, which is his best time of the year. Five long course Masters World Records were broken last weekend at the Southern Pacific Zone meet in Fullerton, California. Alex Kostic, a former USA Swimming National Team member, swam a 1636 91 in the 1500 freestyle to break Jeff Irwin's world record in the 40 to 44 age group by three seconds. Two days later, Kostic broke Irwin's other world record, this time in the 800 free, swimming in 837 81. Frank Piemi broke a world record in the 100 breast for the 85 to 89 age group. Piemi swam a 151.79 to break Barton Greenberg's time of 153.27. Jim McConica set a new Masters world record in the 400 free for the 60 to 64 age group with a 440.52, breaking the record held by Graham Croft by almost 8 seconds. 21 teams also broke relay world records in the 400 free relay, 400 medley relay, and 800 free relay. This is the first long course season that FINA is recognizing Masters World Records in those events, so there are bound to be many new records set in the relays as we come to the end of the long course season. USA Diving held its junior championships in Tucson over the weekend to select the squad to attend the FINA Youth World Championships, which will be held in the same facility in September. Olympian Mary Beth Dunache and World Championship silver medalist Christian Ibsen were named to the team and will be the de facto leaders of a group that will include many divers competing in their first international meet. Dunache will compete in just the platform event, while Ibsen will be a little busier with competition on the 1 meter and 3 meter springboards. USA Diving is expected to announce the full World Championship team in just a few days. Bill Roberts, the head men's swimming coach at the USA Naval Academy, has started an annual awards program that honors swimmers and divers across all three NCAA divisions. The first annual college swimming and diving honors were released last week, and three schools each won two awards. Ashley Danner of George Mason was the female breakout swimmer, while Division I NCAA champion Connor Dwyer of Florida and Division III champion John Dillon of Middlebury, Middlebury College tied for the male breakout swimmer honor. Logan Persall of Division II school Clarion University was the breakout diver of the year. NCAA Division I champion Annie Chandler of Arizona and Division II swimmer of the year Jackie Borkowski of Westchester University tied for female career improvement. Brian O'Connor, also from Arizona, tied with Eric Knight of George Mason for the male career improvement award. Carmen Steller of Stanford took the diving career improvement award and the male breakout team award went to Ohio State University who won their first Big Ten championship in decades and placed 10th at the NCAA championships. The University of Florida, who surprised many with their first NCAA women's title in about 20 years, took the first female breakout team award. The USA Nationals are eight days away, and we at Swimming World TV already let you know our picks for the winners in the women's events on last weekend's split time episode, and we'll do the same for the men this coming weekend. David Reeder, one of our occasional contributors to SwimmingWorld.com, has a contest on his blog where you can pick the top three finishers in each event, except for the 100 200 free where you pick the top six for relay purposes. Send your picks to David at dreeder, that's D-R-I-E-D-E-R, at Comcast.net before midnight Pacific on August 3rd. No prizes will be offered, just a lot of respect in the swimming community. And that's the news for today. We'll see you next time on SwimmingWorld.tv.